Welcome back to Fishing with Norby, guys. Out here, ICAST 2019. I'm at the Motor Guide booth. I'm going to show you guys their new trolling motor. They revamped their old tour trolling motor, which was a really popular one. Uh, how long ago? About seven, eight years ago. About seven, eight years ago. So he said 95% of people in Bass uh, Master were using it, and they've just kind of done away with it, went to a new one, and now they're going back. So let's hear uh, a little bit more about why Motor Guide's proud of this trolling motor uh, compared to, you know, Garmin and, and you got Lowrance coming out with the new trolling motor. So Sam's going to talk a little bit more about it here for you guys and see what it's all about. Absolutely. The Tour is back. That's, a, that's our big message here. And uh, we came out with two lines of trolling motors, the Tour Pro, which is our GPS enabled motor and our Tour Edition, which is our traditional cable steer um, at a lower price point for that weekend warrior as well. Uh, we completely re-engineered this entire motor um, from prop to pedal, and we really do mean by from prop to pedal. So, starting off with the pedal here, uh, we went back to a metal pedal and a metal pad, just like the old Tour editions had. That gives us extremely responsive steering with a no-flex pedal. Um, so that's durability piece there. We went to a quartile, got away from our pulley system. Um, and it beefed up our uh, cables to a stainless steel coated cable that's not gonna um, have as much stretch and you're not gonna have as many chances to uh, break that cable when you're in that really rough water. Okay, um, awesome. We awesome. have our anchor function, which is our pinpoint GPS anchoring system, which is three times as precise as the competition. Um, so a huge advantage out there. And we're the only true cable steer trolling motor with GPS anchor on the market. And what we mean by that is we have our traditional cable steer cables coming right up to the head, just like you're used to no extra cables to get caught and brushed when you're really shallow water and you're fishing and you're getting those those uh, jigs right out of there. Sure. Going to our lighted LED indicator on the top, a stationary head, so less noise. Okay, and the reason you said it's so big is because you, you made the rest of the trolling motor compact yep. and you put in assisted steer, so it, it does have electric capabilities, but it's the only trolling motor if your electric goes out you can still turn it and use it. Absolutely, okay. huge advantage for us there. So all the brains and all of the gearing is in here. So we can make room for this really cool 360 breakaway system, which increases our durability. Yeah, yeah, let's see Let's see how light that is to pick up. He was showing me that a minute ago. This is cool, guys. He's just barely lifting it. From a bad angle. Yeah. We are down below the boat, we can do that. We actually got to some different latches, no more pin system. Nobody uses pins anymore. We actually have some great engineers from the automotive industry yeah. that joined our team okay. and brought over some car door latches, which are super rugged, built tough, and obviously all the safety concerns that you have to have with automotive industry, they brought to the trolling motor. Yeah. So the durability is huge. So That's very awesome. easy to, as you can see, our stow latch. You don't have very to simple the, every time. You don't have to put your foot on the trolling motor and kick it down to nope. lift it up. Nope. That's sweet. Okay. Awesome. Right awesome. in there. Locks right away, patented bulldog latching system. Um, so that's gonna really bite down as the, as the water gets rougher. And okay. if you ever broke this cable, which I know people have in the past, yeah. your day might be done. You may have to go four miles an hour all the way back to the ramp yeah. in 10, 15 miles. Sure. That's a, that's a difference between cutting a check and not cutting a check. Well with us, screwdriver, fingers, or a pocket knife, you can actually depress these latches lift up and safely stow your motor so you can get back to the ramp or you can keep fishing. That's handy. Never get stuck on the water without being able to use your trolling motor again. That's yep. sweet. Absolutely. You know, I've had that happen a lot, so. It happens, things happen on the yeah. water. What we tried to do is really think about everything that's gone on um, on the water in a bad situation and try to make it as easy as possible if something were to happen to service it or at least get back to the ramp so you can service it later on the, on the weekend. Okay, now what about, you know, uh, Lawrence connects to Lawrence units, Garmin connects to Garmin units, Hummingbird to Minn Kota. What, what does the motor guide do? So we want to be the most universally connected trolling motor on the market. With our HD Plus Universal Sonar Nose Cone here, which is very compact, very smooth and sleek look here, you're getting 83,200, 455, 800 kilohertz um, in the transducer, and you're able okay. to connect with our adapter cables to all the major brands. Okay. So Lowrance, Garmin, Hummingbird, and then with Raymarine, we're doing uh, traditional 2D sonar in that 83,200 kilohertz with, their, okay. with them. Um, and then on-screen chart plotter integration uh, for on-screen route records, go yeah. to waypoints. We have that with Lowrance, okay. Simrad, and Mercury Vessel View. Neat. So that covers a lot. Yep. That covers a lot. That's awesome, guys. Good deal. Well, thanks, Sam. Yep. Appreciate it. Really you. appreciate yeah. taking the time to explain it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, you know, I was a little worried about Motor Guide when I heard about 
Lawrence and Garmin coming out with new trolling motors, but it really seems like they've created something to fit the fisherman needs and fix what's gone wrong with trolling motors in the past. Absolutely. So appreciate it. Yep, appreciate you. So it's exciting, guys. So stay tuned for the next videos coming out. iCast. Let us know what you think about this trolling motor compared to the other two, and we'll catch you next time on Fishing with Norby.